Hello people, welcome back to Invincible 86. Myself, KM Naidu. Namaskara, Namaste, Vanakkam. I hope you're all doing good and uh, you know, I know this pandemic is haunting us very badly and uh, hope we will get through this uh, as soon as possible. And my humble request to everyone is please stay at home, stay safe because uh, a lot of family lost their loved ones. So please stay home and stay safe. That is the reason even I'm not getting out and I'm not doing any outdoor videos. In fact, I really wanted to do. And um, you know, I was really excited when I got my first action camera and I want to do the more vlogging, but unfortunately because of this pandemic situation, I'm not going out anywhere. But anyways, uh, getting back to the topic, I'm going to uh, share my opinion about a video uh, which was uploaded on uh, 9th of April by a YouTuber uh, based on uh, Telugu Moro vlogger Sudhir Kumar Reddy's death. And uh, that very YouTuber, you know, uh, he has over 300,000 uh, subscribers and a lot of followers. In fact, I do follow him as well and uh, been following him since the beginning, in fact, and he's very inspiring too. But uh, in this very video, um, you know, he slams against uh, Limco Book of Records and Iron Butt Association and also makes a statement like, you know, Kahi pe lag jao, pillar pe lag jao, ur jao, mar jao, I don't care why you want to risk others' life. So this is something, uh, you know, I'm going to share my opinion about, okay? Now, let's talk about Sudhir Kumar Reddy. So who is Sudhir Kumar Reddy and what is the root cause for his death? Yes, Sudhir Kumar is a Telugu motor vlogger and he had about 50,000 plus subscribers and he was really doing good as well. And it's so unfortunate he is no more with us. My sincere condolences to his family and friends. And now how, what happened to Sudhir Kumar Reddy? Of course, there are a lot of news and uh, so many YouTubers have already spoken about, but still I'm just giving an overview about it. Sudhir Kumar Reddy and his fellow bikers, I mean group of bikers, decide to explore northeast and uh, up north. So they ride together and cover northeast and from Gangtok, Sikkim uh, to Shimla, Sudhir Kumar Reddy decides to ride as a solo rider. Uh, because he wants to explore Spiti Valley as a solo rider. So he departs from the group and he rides alone. Uh, he rides about uh, 1800 plus kilometers in two and a half days uh, reaching to Shimla. And from there he would uh, ride towards Spiti Valley. In one occasion he mentioned that his, he is unable to upload videos and uh, his laptop isn't working and he tried his level best to upload videos or try to fix his laptop till morning 4 a.m. and then followed by uh, the next day or the other day he the last video he mentioned that uh, he tried his best to fix the laptop and tried to upload the video but he couldn't do it he, once he comes back home he will fix his laptop and upload videos so till then he requested his uh, subscribers or followers to wait until then so that was his last uh, video which was uploaded so post which uh, after a couple of days we we got a very bad news that he is no more so now what happened exactly so you know for the fact that he had a, a very uh, less sleep i mean lack of sleep and he is also physically exhausted because he's keep traveling you know past couple of days or weeks maybe and uh, he finishes Spiti valley adventure and everything while getting back home from Delhi to his hometown Hyderabad, he decided to do non-stop riding, which is about uh, 1500 kilometers. And uh, while he was heading towards, uh, uh, from Narsingapur to his hometown, you know, unfortunately he fell asleep and, um, you know, he hit himself to the divider and he succumbs to the injuries. So it's a very sad news. It's a great loss to his family and uh, his friends and uh, to the YouTube community as well. 
So it, it's a very saddening situation. Yeah. Definitely, he was not attempting any uh, official record as such because uh, in one of the videos by uh, Ravi Kiran Kasturi, one of his friends, in fact, Sudhir Kumar friend, uh, he mentioned in one of the videos uh, with regards to his death that uh, Sudhir Kumar Reddy was discussing with uh, Ravi Kiran Kasturi that uh, he is going to ride uh, non-stop from Delhi to uh, his hometown uh, because so that when he mentions on uh, YouTube thumbnail that he did a non-stop ride so that he can attract more number of views and uh, subscribers maybe. That, that was his ulterior motive to do the non-stop ride. But uh, my opinion about his ride, he could have done this very ride or non-stop ride some other day. You know, I understand there are a lot of challenges for motor vloggers, uh, but he would like to do it, everything in one go. That is quite impossible. Because one must understand that, you know, he is already physically exhausted and lack of sleep as well, because past couple of days, he was trying to fix his laptop, and, you know, overnight and uh, he slept only for a couple of hours on top of it he's been riding past couple of days or weeks so he's physically exhausted as well and at the same time you need to consider that your bike is also running continuously past couple of days or weeks so first of all he's not uh, mentally prepared or physically prepared for it and also his bike is not prepared for it so this is the root cause if he would have done it as a fresh start, after, maybe after a couple of days or a week, he could have definitely accomplished it. But unfortunately, he is no more with us. So now, getting back to the topic which I would like to share my opinion. This YouTuber slams against who the hell uh, Limco Book of Records and uh, Iron Butt Association to organize competitions on public roads. So now, People who don't know, because this is again my, my whole motive of making this video. I want to create awareness to all of you who's ever watching, because I myself a national record holder and I am an endurance rider. My very first endurance riding was back in 2013. I accomplished a saddle sore 1,600 kilometers in 24 hours. And 2014 uh, saddle sore uh, you know, 1,600 kilometers in 24 hours. So the first one was done on uh, Yamaha RD 350 and the second one on Duke 390. And in 2015, I attempted fastest golden quadrilateral also, but I couldn't accomplish it because due to the hellstorm in uh, Ekdil near Itawa, which is close to Agra, in fact. You know. So all, and uh, later on, I always have another day. Uh, so that's the reason I did not push myself. And uh, very next year, in the year 2016, I attempted the uh, fastest motorcycling in a day. That is, I covered uh, 2,308 kilometers in 24 hours time. So that was the record which I accomplished, uh, which is a national record. So that is the whole reason why I'm sharing my opinion about the video. So, you know, Limca Book of Records or Iron Butt Association, they do not organize any competitions. It's an individual who approach an organization. You know, they will serve or I don't know how do they get, because I myself, I never, I was not into Facebook. Uh, I never seen any uh, with regards to, um, you know, uh, Iron Butt Association or Limca Book of Records through uh, any social media. So, because I, involved or I participated in it you know, under my own interest and for my own passion. So here, be it Iron Butt Association or Limco Book of Records, they do not organize any competitions. Organizing competitions, one must understand like you will be notified by the organizers uh, maybe a month or two ago that they are organizing a competition and these are the categories and there will be an entry fee and application process and there will be a last date as well and post which on a you know a, a recommend a organized date th there will be a competition taking place so this is what the competition is but when it comes to record breaking event you know for for, for your information Limca book of records they were established in the year 1990 probably most of us were kids or maybe not born as well. 
So they have been doing this past three and a half decades nearly. Okay. Uh, yeah, nearly three decades, I would say. And uh, what is Lemko Book of Records or breaking or setting a new record? Anything beyond human ability or beyond human limitation, any act is done, is a setting a record or breaking an existing record. So it could be anything. It's not necessarily uh, to be uh, with regards to motorsport. It could be even the high most spiciest chili eaten by a human and the highest number of chilies eaten by a human because that is again a setting a record. So it could be anything. And now you may question why you need to do it on a public road. Unfortunately, that is the only infrastructure we have because for thousands of kilometers or hundreds of kilometers, you cannot organize or you cannot organize yourself on a closed environment because you cannot cover those distance or you will not, you, that infrastructure will, it's quite impossible. For example, I can give you for athletes, okay? For athletes, you can, uh, you know, they can run 100 meters, 200 meters or 400 meters, even 1,500, 6,000 meters. That can be done on an indoor stadium on a racetrack. And athletes can participate and run and accomplish it. But when it comes to marathon, why it is organized in public road? Because they require that kind of infrastructure. So now, unfortunately, record breaking when it comes to motorcycling, you know, uh, you know be it uh, fastest motorcycling in a day or anything, any endurance riding, for example, it could be a saddle sore or a, you know, fastest motorcycling a day, for example. Okay. This very event requires a, you know, a public road. We are not doing it on traffic limits. It's all been done on a highway. Okay. Because that is the only infrastructure we have. We have no other choice, unfortunately. And before doing any kind of uh, record attempt, there are a lot of a lot of documentation procedures to be followed. Uh, when it comes to Lim Kabukov records, yes. And at first, you need to approach them via email that what record you're looking for to do. Is it something existing record or you're setting a new record? Okay. And post which they will reply back with all the details and also documentation procedures. So now in these documents, there are a series of uh, criteria to be followed, okay? And once you fulfill all the criteria, that is when the application will be approved. Also, you need to fill in a disclaimer form uh, on a stamp paper. The complete application will be filled in on a stamp paper. Stamp paper is maybe about 10 or 20 rupees stamp paper. It is considered to be an Indian legal document. So this is the, this is the seriousness of this record attempt and also uh, how serious uh, um, you know, the application procedure is and how strict they are, okay? And also, how do you prove yourself? You know, as per Limco Book of Records, you need to, any destination you travel, when it comes to uh, you know, endurance riding, as you pass through different destination, you need to approach any gazetted officers or uh, toll gates or even to the police station, you need to take signature in another station to prove yourself that you have traveled so and so, so and so places with stipulated time. These are the challenges which we go through. And definitely, it is not a joke, you know, uh, participating on a record breaking event. Uh, people who participate, they are serious about it. And uh, it, it, they do it with a whole lot of passion because first of all, one who wants to attempt this very record or beat anything, you know, he, first prepare himself mentally and then prepare himself uh, you know physically and he need to prepare his bike as well and this involves emotional stress because he need to convince his family as well and uh, on top of it uh, you know he need to spend money because there are no sponsors for these kind of events so he need to spend his own money and of course sometimes you know in my case i did request a couple of my friends you know to sponsor for fuel uh, expenses so they did pulled in my money as well yes so this is how it's done and the, also mm -hmm. the person who is attempting record he is always careful and he knows what he is doing because at the end of the day he he has his family too because why I'm telling you this is because uh, that very youtuber made a statement if you would like to do such events do it 
यू नो यू कैन डू इट योर सेल्फ कहीं पे लग जाओ उड़ जाओ मर जाओ पिलर पे लग जाओ आई थिंक यू नो दिस इज दिस स्टेटमेंट इज क्वाइट नेगेटिव यू नो बीइंग अ बाइकर और बीइंग अ यू नो इन द कम्युनिटी ऑफ अ बाइकिंग ब्रदरहुड यू नो यू कैन नॉट मेक स्टार्ट स्टेटमेंट्स बिकॉज दैट वेरी इंडिविजुअल हु इज राइडिंग और हु वांट्स टू राइड इवन ही हैज लाइफ एंड ही हैज हिज फैमिली टू so my whole intention is to educate such people because definitely you know i understand uh, you know even my parents my mom and dad also mentioned not to do it but still i do it you know because it's our passion also nobody is doing it for likes and facebook comments you know people are doing it out of their passion as a endurance rider i just need to put it across my opinion as well because i don't want anybody spread it, spreading negativity about uh, an organization you know when it comes to even iron butt association also you know um, they don't voluntarily come and tell you to participate so it's you are the one who is approaching as i said uh, with regards to lemco book of records as well and if you go through their website they give whole lot of tips you know whole lot of uh, advices which you need to go through and that is when you will be able to accomplish and when it comes to saddle sore which is 1600 km in 24 hours you don't need to have a super fast bike you can have a normal uh splendor or any 100 or 150 cc bike and if you make an average of 80 not 80 uh, like 65 to 70 or 75 km an hour uh, an average in 24 hours still you will be able to cover uh you know 1600 km in 24 hours all you need is a uh, a very good fuel economy bike and which can cruise between 75 to 80 km an hour so you can definitely do it you don't need to do super fast okay i also would like to um you know make a request that if anybody is attempting any kind of uh, endurance riding or uh, record attempts on a motorcycle i would request you all to update in social platform like it could be facebook or youtube or instagram beat anything you know you need to post complete details how you prepared yourself for the ride and uh, you know what all challenges you went through and also your experience during the course of the ride so that that gives an idea to another person instead of just posting your accomplishment because when you post your accomplishment that will definitely influence others to do it but anyways we all know for the fact that not everybody can do such attempts or will to do such attempts but some young guys might attempt out of you know curiosity or uh, they just want to do it so in this case we need to showcase how difficult it is and how challenging it is because it's not a piece of cake like you go for a breakfast ride because you need to be physically mentally prepared before attempting this record or endurance riding so it's a very serious matter and uh, more sports by default it is a riskier sport so i would request all the uh, riders who participate on endurance riding do share your opinion and uh, your inputs how others can uh, you know uh, based on your experience can improve so that we can make this uh, more sport as safe as possible because when you create more and more awareness we can minimize such unforeseen or uh, unfortunate incidents so that's my opinion and that is the reason uh, why i ended up making this video i know i have taken too much of time of yours um i because in fact i was thinking whether to do it or not you know to share my opinion about the video which was uploaded by a famous youtuber based in bangalore but i couldn't stop myself because being an endurance rider i should also share my opinion and i i don't want anybody to blame like stop blaming it's better to you know create awareness so that our future bikers can uh, or who wants to uh, participate in any kind of event they prepare themselves they first they need to prepare themselves 
and uh, they can do it. Because if you say don't do it, nobody going to stop. So rather you educate or create awareness. So that makes more sense than saying no. That's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your friends and colleagues. Thanks very much. Cheers now. Bye. Peace.